Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have something really, really neat for you today. Uh, this is a tank drone. This is a quadcopter that will fly just about anywhere or, or drive just about anywhere. And in fact, you can actually truly be unstoppable where you fly this and drive it. <laughs> And that's a pun on this particular quadcopter. If you look at this quadcopter, you'll see that this looks like a tank and it looks like a quadcopter and actually operates as both a tank and a quadcopter. Now this concept of a quadcopter tank is not new. About two years ago there was a fellow who had a, uh, this, actually built a prototype of this and tried to get funding via Indiegogo I believe it was to put it into production. Unfortunately, uh, his project failed and he never got it into production, which is a shame because what that did just opened up to other companies such as WL Toys to come forward and say, hey, we'll produce that, we can do that. I don't think that original uh, fellow who built the prototype is probably getting anything out of this, but here it is. You know, His concept is finally on the uh, being produced this is, again, the WL Toys, I didn't give you the name of it yet, and I forgot the name myself, the Q919A. Now, Q919A, with the A in it, means that this is an FPV flyer. It includes a 5.8 gigahertz FPV transmitter pod. Uh, this is the same pod that you see on the V686G, the WL Toys V686G, um, and on several other of their quadcopters, I believe, uh, their FPV flyers. It is a very successful pod. It actually works very well <laughs> on, the, on the quadcopters that I've seen it with. Um, but um, again, they've recy re um, cycled that particular pod to include it with this particular quadcopter. Now the quadcopter itself, if you look at it, it has tracked tracks that go around both sides of the quadcopter. Again, these operate just like a tank track, or you know, tank treads. Um, these treads are powered by two individual motors on the forward end of the quadcopter here. I think they're little seven or eight millimeter motors. I, I, ain't, I haven't removed the pod yet here to see what's inside there, what size motors they are, but uh, they have to be seven or eight millimeter motors. Um, and as such, you can probably easily find replacements for seven or eight millimeter motors on the internet. I mean, these are pure generic motors, and especially if it's coming from WL Toys, I can guarantee it's a generic motor in there. Um, other things. The main propellers are powered by what looks like and is the old style uh, WL Toys V262 motor. Um, I open these pods up here and they are not plug in like the uh, Tarantula X6 motors, but they are V262 motors. But unfortunately, on the other end here, the pinion gear is a little seven tooth pinion gear vice a nine tooth pinion gear like you see on normal V262 motors. So. Uh, you might have difficulty finding a V262 motor with a 7-tooth uh, pinion gear. Uh, I don't know if these are removable or not. Uh, every time I've tried to remove a brass pinion, their brass pinion gears, as you, if you can see there, um, they are difficult to remove and reinsert on another motor. I've, I've never been successful in doing that. But others might know how to do that if they can't find them because these V262 motors, I can guarantee they are widely available. You can find them everywhere uh, for I think a dollar, two dollars <laughs> in that price range. Um, it's additionally the motor's power, as we see here, tri-bladed props here to give us a little extra oomph in taking off. Um, other than that, those are the main features of it. I forgot to mention the battery. The battery appears to be a simple 850 milliamp per hour. Let, let me take it out of here, and I'll tell you here in a second. Uh, no, a thousand milliamp per hour. Uh, 7.4 volt battery. You can find these on the internet and probably other tarantula motors might be able to fit in there too, but uh, they're not, uh, it's not very, you know, a hard to find motor. It is powered by uh, a red J JST plug though. And so if you're looking for this particular motor, the dimensions on this motor are, let me pull it out one more time and look at it. It is a 70, 30, 60, which means it's 7 times 2 is 14 millimeters thickness, 30 millimeters width, and 60 millimeters uh, in length. So, you, and a thousand milliamp per hour. So you should be able to find that very easily. And plugging that back in. 
Let's go over the transmitter now. We've gone over the battery, we've gone over the quadcopter itself. The transmitter is a V2 <laughs> standard WL Toys transmitter, it looks like, and it is. Uh, going over the buttons for that, this upper left button triggers the video camera, turning it on or off. This upper right button, this does not do flips, let's put it, but instead, this upper right button here is for selecting be between air mode or ground mode. If you want to fly in the air, you press the button. If you want to uh, drive on the ground, you press the button again, and that activates those forward motors. When in ground mode, um, the throttle is inoperative, and to go forward, you just simply press forward on pitch and pull back on pitch, and to turn left or right, you give it yaw commands via the throttle stick. Other buttons on this quadcopter, uh, these are your different rate buttons, 40, 60, 80, 100. This button here is for turning the lights on or off or holding it down, enters one key return. If you want to take a photo, you press this button here. And if you want to go into headless mode, you hold this button down for two seconds and it will enter into headless mode. And finally, let's go over to the transmitter. Transmitter go, uh, transmits on Boscan band E8 only. Uh, and for that today, I got my uh, goggles. We're going to be flying with this uh, recording over goggles too to show you this. Uh, recording but it has a simple on off switch and a power port down here one shortcoming about these particular type of transmitters you can never get them fully charged as per their battery indicator um, that's a f fault in the design of the um, uh, screen the batteries that they actually used were, were, were smaller than what this was designed for you will never see it fully charged just go by the charger that they get you and when the little charger changes its light color from on to off or off to on, I can't remember which sequence, that means it's fully charged. Don't, don't uh, judge the charge by the uh, charging indicator on the screen. So that's about it. Let's put it in the air. I want to turn on my goggles to make sure we get video, and we'll go for a flight of this thing. Hope you enjoy its flight. Turn, okay, we've got signal there. Turn the transmitter on, rebinding. Okay, you got to do it right away, folks, or you do not get uh, bind on the camera or on these. Okay, I got the camera on. You don't get bind on the quadcopter. Camera's recording. Let's take to the air. First flight. <laughs> this is a monster. <laughs> a monster tank. There it is. Okay, coming back down to the ground. Let's go to ground mode now. Ground mode. And there it goes across the grass. <laughs> so, yeah, it kind of works. Let's go back to air mode. I want to go to another spot. Let's go over and see how it does in sand. Okay, go into ground mode. There's some sticks there. Well, it went over through the sticks. Let's go over the sticks. It is unstoppable. <laughs> no, it isn't. Here's how you, if you get stuck, just fly over whatever the issue might be. Okay, now this is really sandy area. Going back to ground mode. Yeah, it's digging itself in the sand. Okay, we got stuck again, going back to the air. Boy, it uses a lot of power to get itself into the air. I can tell you that now, but. Now let's go over here. Go to higher rate, 60%. As you can guess, this thing is heavy. It feels heavy. It's not meant for acrobatic flying. Even at 60% rate, it seems kind of slow, but it, Let's see how fast it'll go. Again, it has a range of 100 meters. I forgot to mention that. So it can go fast. Okay, we're going out there. How about high? Let's see if I can get a video of... I'm using my goggles here. <laughs> but a video of the uh, lights. I don't want to hit the lights, <laughs> but yeah, the range on this is pretty good. 
coming back down going forward it is a bit heavy but it'll fly just keep it moving forward apparently um, if you hover it too much it gets sluggish but you get a little forward movement on it and it flies much better it is unstoppable yeah the guy that originally invented it oh I can see something right now look at that let's stop for a second here one of the treads popped off of its uh, roll or its guide here let's put it back on that was simple to do but it did pop off for a second <laughs> let's go back to ground mode again and going forward uh, this probably works best on a flat surface, folks. Even though it says it's unstoppable, it is stoppable. Here, let's get out of the sunlight. But those little, you know, you hit a, a rough spot and it drags under the belly, it will stop it. So, but actually it flies much better than it goes on the ground. <laughs> so going back to the air. It is pretty neat. <laughs> Do that again. Showing it to you. The unstoppable. No. WL Toys Q919A FPV flyer. And the FPV is still working. By the way, the signal on the screen is pretty good. It's just that, you know, the sunlight it makes it hard to see it. But I'm recording it on goggles to show you that signal. Yeah, no flip features. Let's go to 80%. No, I'm not going to give it a real... Well, let's see how fast it'll go here at 80. Oh, it goes fast. It actually does fly well once you get it moving. you got to get it moving first, though. Not super fast turd rate, but you wouldn't expect that from this monster. <laughs> this is actually pretty neat. I guess you can fly this indoors or outdoors. Works that tank, but the tank is is unstoppable. It is stoppable. We can see that. We've seen that. Um, but it works better. I got to say, this much works much better than uh, the flying cars do. do you know on. Um, the flying cars, you have to fly those or drive those mainly on really flat surfaces. They will not move at all on grass. This one does move somewhat on grass. Not the best. Let's try it again. Going back to ground mode. It does move on grass. It's just not very fast and it can get stuck like you see here. And when you get stuck, go back to air mode. You get your back up over that spot. Go a little farther forward. Go back to ground mode and continue on. So that's what you do when you get stuck. Go back to air mode. It's stuck on something. What's holding that down? It's, okay, let's try it again. There we go. <laughs> that time it was stoppable. <laughs> but a pretty neat, still a pretty neat thing. Okay, I want to make sure I got the video before I, I lose. Uh, reception entirely. This records 720p HD. I forgot to mention that. That camera, in addition, I started the camera again, in addition to being able to transmit in 5.8 gigahertz, it can also record in 720p HD. And I'm going to include that video also along with the uh, FPV video from the camera. Let's go up one more time. Hi. Showing the area. Not hitting those lights. And gently coming down in a descent. It actually flies okay, I guess. <laughs> Not super acrobatic, but it flies. It flies well. This unstoppable Q919A. Ha, ha, ha.
neat. Neat quad cutter. There's a piece of sand stuck on it, <laughs> or a piece of grass. Well, let's see how much flight time we get. We'll fly it until its battery gets weak. Does it give us any light warning? Yeah, we got light warning. So we're gonna land it now. That's about it, folks. The LED blinker is blinking, indicating that we're low bat. And those, the LED link, or indicator, let's see if you can see that, is right there. Let's put it in the shade, see? That's how you tell you got low bat. Blinking eyes on this thing. So all in all, <laughs> yeah, it kind of works, okay? Um, it's not going to be a, an unstoppable tank. It will catch on things like grass, as you see there, and that will s slow it down and stop it. But um, if you, know, you drive on mostly a flat surface uh, without a lot of clutter, um, yeah, it'll work. And uh, it flies relatively well. I actually thought it flew very well. Uh, considering how heavy it, this must be. <laughs> so, oh no, it's uh, okay. So this is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight of the Q919A Quadcopter 101. Signing out.